In today's video, we are making two under the sea centerpieces. And I want you guys to stick around for the second one because I don't actually paint. Even though it looks like paint, it's not paint. So I think it'll be really interesting what I use to decorate the second centerpiece. And so let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is take your 13 inch wood letter from Michaels. These letters actually come white originally, but this one I had in my stash from a previous project and I spray painted it teal. You want to glue down all your seashells at the base of the letter. So I'm not doing it in any particular pattern. I am just gluing these down randomly, however I want them to look, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm trying to use, I think about five or six seashells and then the starfish shell I am going to use for the center. Once you have your seashells glued down, you want to glue down all your little beads. Um, these beads came in a variety, like a big bag in a variety of shapes and colors and the colors matched my theme so I'm just randomly picking out different colors and different shapes and gluing them down in a random pattern to the letter. So once I put my starfish on, I did a few more beads to kind of accent and add a little color to it. But once you have all your beads and seashells and starfish glued down, you want to give it a second to dry. You want to take your Mod Podge and a bristle brush and dry brush the Mod Podge onto the top of the beads and the seashells. This will kind of give it um, a little tackiness to adhere to the glitter, but you don't want globs of Mod Podge on there. And then you take your fine grain glitter and sprinkle it generously all over where you dry brushed. And I would just give it a few seconds to kind of um, adhere. And then once you do that, turn it over and lightly tap it on the back so that any excess glitter can come off. And it kind of gives it a little shine and a little texture. Now at this point you could stop, um, but I'm a little extra. So uh, I got this fishnet, which I thought would add a little bit of texture to the project. So, and I only use it on the bottom half of the letter so once you cut out the size of fishnet that you want you want to you want to get your rubber finger because we're going to use hot glue uh, get your rubber finger and um, flip the letter over with the net attached to the front and then as you flip it over you're just going to generously glue down the ends um, while pulling the, net, the fishnet tight so that way it's flat on the front side. And I'm just using my rubber finger to um, basically push the net into the glue without burning my hand. So you're going to do that all around, cutting off any excess net that you have. And then I just kept turning it over. I cut out the excess right here and then folded it over and continued to glue it down. And that is pretty much our first project. So we will move on to project number two. So for this next project, I am using a 18 inch latex balloon. I'm cutting out the neck to uh, make it a little more stretchy. So maybe about an inch and a half from the base. And then I'm taking a vase that I got from the Dollar Tree, the largest cylinder vase that I had. And I'm turning it upside down. So you're gonna use 
the balloon and stretch it out over your hands and then pull it all the way down as far as you can onto the vase. So this will create a snug, skin tight finish for your vase without actually painting it. And so it looks like the vase is these, nah. <laughs> it looks like the face is this uh, sea foam color, but it's actually not. It's just latex, and then that way you can reuse the vase later if you need to. Next, I'm taking a piece of scrap net that I had left over my stash, and I'm using it to lay on top of the latex green. Uh, you want to make sure at this point that your latex is even around the rim, um, so that way the net looks a little more symmetrical and better when you glue it down. So we're going to be gluing this down with hot glue, and because this is scrap, it doesn't stretch entirely to meet, but I'll show you how I fix that problem. So again, get your rubber finger out, and you're going to glue down the first edge of the net. And I'm just gluing this down um, as close to the edge as possible. And then I'm going to go back and glue down the middle area, middle areas, and then glue down the north end. So now that we have it all glued down, we're going to use this starfish to fill in the gap that I was talking about. You guys, if you are using a net that completely covers and you don't have to use a starfish, you don't have to. Um, you know, do this part, but since I have a gap, I need to use a starfish, so you could use regular sized seashells. And right here, I mistakenly glued my candlestick holder to the bottom of the vase before cutting out a hole for it. So uh, later on, it'll actually not stick to the rubber balloon, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So once you have your starfish glued down, um, you just want to finish gluing down the net and make sure that it's as close to the starfish as possible so then it looks seamless. And then I'm taking some more of those beads that I had from the first project and just kind of accenting and covering up the fact that there's a gap <laughs> in between. <laughs> And then once you do that, uh, you're pretty much done. I am going to show you guys how I cut out the bottom. But you just want to glue down your beads in a random pattern. Um, you know, symmetrical, random. It all depends on if you're using one uniform color or if you're using a mix of colors. Um, a mix of colors could be random, but I'm using all purple so I tried to make it as symmetrical as possible while still covering up my little gap in the middle. So now this is the part where I had to cut out the bottom of the latex balloon and then put hot glue on my candlestick holder and place that on top and just press down firmly for about five to ten seconds. It should adhere. Gorilla Glue is really good at adhering to glass, so. And so, hopefully, you guys enjoyed these two projects. Let me know what you think down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay crafty.